everyone and welcome back to another episode we have so much going on with these flamingos i just sold a bunch of the flamingos so now we have 61 flamingos in here because they're all starving and it's really not good they're all struggling because it's such a high population so i've just taken down the population and now they're all much better the drinking cleanliness seems to be bad so let's have a look their water is not in wow okay they don't have any clean, clean water which is in in the bubble so that's great okay so we need to give them clean water and work zone wise tiger zone now needs to include wait that's weird that's really weird why does it not say it's a habitat that's really odd okay this is the odd Vark area. And these aardvarks are pretty happy, I'm sure. Look at them. Here's one. Happy little aardvark. Very cute. No way is it going in, in this burrow. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> oh my I didn't even know you could do this. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. I, I mean, this is just so cool. Number two, number three. <gasps> Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness me. Uh, how do I get out? <gasps> that is so cool. Borrow capacity. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Okay. So that's how the burrows work, and we put too many burrows down, probably. So I'm actually going to take one of these away, because we probably put too many down. But that is so cool, I didn't even realise that's how it works. We can put some of these down for our pangolins, let's go and put them down, let's see, pangolins, over, am I in the right area, I'm in the right area, here, got it. Let's go and put these down for some pangolins, because I'm pretty sure the pangolins will really appreciate these burrows, okay. There's not much space actually up here. Pangolin burrow. Do you think a pangolin would appreciate that? They are burrowing animals, so I'm pretty sure they will love it. Here's a burrow for you. I really hope you like it. Wow, we just made that extremely steep for them. Bless them. Can they even get up here? Probably not. Um, let's take away the burrow. There we go. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay. Um, Peach the third died. Oh no. We have a flamingo that grew up. We have an okapi which matured and is injured now because they've been fighting. That's why. How annoying. We didn't get there fast enough. Another aged up. Oh, <gasps> Splash! Splash matured! Oh my goodness, no. I'm pretty sure he's fighting with his parents. So we're gonna pop him away quickly. Shoe has matured. So she can go away. Okay, let's check how our Okapi is doing. I'm pretty sure she's getting packed up. Yeah. These okapi have the best life. They have an amazing habitat full to the brim of plants. It's amazing. Okay, so today's um, aim is to do some funky things with that's the tiger habitat here. Pretty sure, yeah, okay, all the flamingos should be out of here. There should not be any flamingos in here, and there are. So all the flamingos should be over in this flamingo pen here. So let's get all those dudes moved out. And then in here, we should only have the tapirs, which we'll put back in. We need to really give this a, um, oops, too fast, too fast, a makeover. I'm pretty sure the tapirs don't want any of these. Don't want the pens. Don't want that. They don't need all this water for sure. And let's see, they don't want this. That's too much for them. 
here. Oh, Ying! Ying is gone. Oh, no. Yang went last, last time, and now Ying is also leaving us. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yep. Also, uh, sh shelter there. Also, shelter here. I'm pretty sure they don't need this many shelters now. There we go. Starting to clear up the area a bit. So now there shouldn't be any animals. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So in here, I want the tapirs to go. So it's tapir, the bri the brayards, brayards tapir. Wow, we have a lot of tapirs. So let's put this little baby. We have a few little babies. I don't know where we got the babies from, but we can put them in. And a male and a female. So leaf, and then we'll have to find a a partner for leaf. Let's see, leaf. Who can you? partner up with she doesn't know any any males so let's see let's partner him her up with this male and see how that see how they like that can i scooch okay i'm gonna take the water out of here so no water here no water here and then i'm gonna flatten this out Then I want to just move all this back. Like scooch. Huh. Okay, so it's this that's the problem. So let's see. So it's this and this and this. And this. Okay, now can I scooch it back a bit? Backwards and in a bit. And down a bit. I feel like that's much better. Yeah, that looks much better as well. Okay, and then we have these floating things. Which I don't want. I want to delete these. I want to try and just fix everything. Okay. You know what? We're getting rid of everything in here because it's all a big old mess. Like, it truly is. Look at this. A big old mess from the flamingos. That the flamingos have left a big old mess. Okay, so. There. Now it's fixed. So. We have the one waterfall over here. And a lovely waterfall it is. And then we want another waterfall over here, I'd say. Let's see, where are they? Hello, little one. Who's this? Is this? Okay, this is the male. So they want short grass. No long grass. And lots of soil. Let's see if I can make it light soil everywhere. All around the trees, a light soil. Here, there we go, okay. And then environment wise, they're going for South Central Temperate Grassland Tropical. Okay, let's see. So, we can properly do a lovely decoration, I think, for this. We have a cave, which looks pretty cool. Because they need some hard shelter. We can make our own cave. We could 100% make our own cave. Maybe that's what we should do. Just make our own cave. That's a really cool shelter. Wow, look at that. Wisteria Falls. Oh my gosh. And this big old waterfall. And this big old... Oh my goodness. That is a huge, huge, huge waterfall. Yeah, I think, wow. This is a cute waterfall. This is like this waterfall, right? Possibly. It's possibly the same, but I'm going to put two waterfalls in for them. Because waterfalls are lovely to have. Boop. There. 
Hopefully they can't escape with that. Possibly they can escape with that, but it's fine. Sure, they'll be fine. Let's push it down. We're gonna have a nice little swimming area here. Which we can smooth. Oh no! Okay, hang on. We have inbreeding flamingos, so we've got to pause it for a second. Why is that a weirdly odd shaped... Hang on. That's better. Okay. Two waterfalls each side. And then I want... I want some rocks to make a little shelter. Let's see, if we put down a normal shelter, let's see, be, be, briar, briar, be, there, got it. Okay, if we put down a shelter, then we can just build rocks around it. Nobody will know. So let's see, um, metal one, why do I want a big old metal one? I don't want a big old metal one. I want... Okay, that'll do. Or maybe we can just deck it out. What is this? This is cute. That is so cute. I'm pretty sure they won't actually go in that, but it's adorable, so I'm going to put it down. Okay. Hard shelter. Apparently they have... Oh, it's because of this. Ah, so we don't actually need to give them any hard shelter. Well, that's quite good. Okay, that's really good. Let's just give them a load of rocks then to decorate around. Because you know that I love the rocks. Oops, that looks a bit weird. We're going rock crazy. Because it's all to do with the tropicals and rocks. There we go. A few smaller ones here and there. And then I just want like a normal, can I get normal rocks in here somewhere? Here we go. Temperate is what I want. Just a few temperate rocks lying around. Like this. There can be one here. One here, a few there. There we go better now. Much, much better. Looking a bit more tropical as well. Okay, let's move. I'm going to scooch this tree back a bit. Just because I want, I just want the back to be more covered. Bracken, oh, bracken is beautiful. Wow. Wow. Bramble bushes, trees. I want like a giant. Ooh, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Coastal mangroves, common reeds. Okay, we're getting there. I like to use some of these re we weeds that <laughs> reeds around around the edges of the ponds. You know I do. I love I love these. I think they look really cool. Okay. Shove some big old ones around and then some smaller ones. There. And ooh, we can have a giant rhubarb. Yes. Okay, I'm totally putting a couple giant rhubarbs at the back here. Just to fill the back in a bit. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe one here. Because I know they take up a lot of room, but they have a lot of room anyway, so. Pretty sure we can fit some in. And what is this? A holly tree. I didn't know we had holly trees. Let's make some kind of bush with the holly trees. And some of this. Maybe one here. I like the holly trees. Okay. Hydrangea bushes. <gasps> oh my gosh. We have hydrangeas. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. This is beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. Um, hydrangeas, hydrangeas. Give me more hydrangeas. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
here, and then it's like a small one. <gasps> Look, those hydrangeas. Look how beautiful they are, and they're purple. We have to decorate. Let's decorate. Let's decorate uh, like a few of these areas where the public are walking with hydrangeas because, oh my gosh, in love. Like, look at this color that it brings. Oh my goodness. Somebody's been naughty and knocked over a bin. Not happy about that. Hydrangea bush. Lots of hydrangea bushes. They make everything better. Look at that color that it brings. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe like one up here. <gasps> I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay. We've probably gone way over the top for the poor. Where are they? Where are they? Tapers. Oh no, they're fine. Okay. Well, that's good. They don't like some of the things on this. Oh, they don't like the elephant grass. All the birds nest ferns. All the tree ferns. That's fine. They like everything else. Good, good. So we're doing the right things. It's just that, oh, look, look. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, this tree's cool. This tree's really cool. Okay, hang on. Can I get a small one here? <gasps> that tree is so interesting. Okay. I'm going to put, hang on, hang on. I'm going to put this. We're going to get rid of this. I'm going to move this tree here so that this one has more space. Because this tree is very interesting. Like, look at this. I'm gonna add a few more of these around. Because these are cute. The little camping areas which we can go in. Okay, let's check this flamingo inbreeding. Because we have problems. Oh no, they've already inbred. Damn it, okay. Damn it, what do I do with you now? She's gonna have to go on contraceptives. We have a flamingo down. And we have some Indian pea fowls which are maturing. Come on, please let me release. Why can't I release you to the wild, my friend? Huh. It's being picky with their releasing options. Oh, I can release her. There. Go on. Off you go. Okay, and who else? This lovely lady. And is that it? She's expecting. Okay, it's all good. We're all good. Nothing too frantic has happened. Let's head back to our... <gasps> this looks amazing. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can add more. We can add more plants, so I will add more plants. Bracken is the best. So we're going to go crazy on the bracken. Just to fill in the gaps. Like, there are many gaps, really. I mean, come on. There's not many gaps left still doing it and we've got to check that they can actually have enough space and walk around after this because it's probably gone too crazy and then they won't have enough space to actually move around and in between all the plants that I put down do, 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 do. beautiful beautiful okay let's have a look a bramble bush Ooh, okay where is do we have here. Let's see. Yeah, she has no space. <gasps> oh no! Okay, we've ruined something. Let's see. Habitat wise, she can't move around. So I'm gonna have to go with this. Okay, now she can get over here. But she can't get to. Okay. Move this down to here. Okay, how you doing? Now she can get here and here and here. Okay, so she just can't get to this area. Okay, and now she can get to the back here. If I just scooch this back a bit, she can now get to here. Let's see, where are you? Where are you, my friend? Yeah, she has good space now. Okay. That's good, that's good. And she could still do with more, but we're not going to give her any more. We're going to put some of these amazing tropical... Wow, these look so cool. Okay. Put a few of these in, though. 
because these do look beautiful. <gasps> so cool, right? And then this one. Look how amazing does that. Cool. I promise. I promise that's it. Oh, wait, <gasps> there's more. There's another water. There's another water flow. You have to put a tiny bit in here. There we go. And then the short grass, there's still long grass which is turned up somewhere. What if it's back here? There we go. She is, he is even completely happy. Which is so good. Okay, and then let's check. Who do we have in here now? We just have, we just have one? But where is Leaf? I swear, I, I... Hang on. Leaf, are you not joining joining them here? My dear? With this little baby and this little baby? I swear we put you in to join here. There we go. And let's see. Can I find... He is. Zupedia. So it's one male and one female. Yeah, okay. And they can be with the giant anteater! <gasps> this is so cool. Let's buy some giant anteaters and put them in with them. Because that would be amazing. Let's just get a really healthy, like this one. A male giant anteater, which we're going to put in here. Oh my goodness. And let's see. Are there any females? Go away, please. Females. We have no female giant anteaters. Huh. Well, that's kind of sad. We have a research that's complete. Amazing. Okay, good. Everybody's doing everything they should. We have new animals coming in, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye for now.